in the previous weeks and quarters, you already experienced writing different types of essays or articles. And I know that is not an easy task. So for today, this video aims to help you improve your skills more. Hi guys! Welcome back to my class. This is Teacher Adam, and here's your weekly dose of English lessons. Writing academic papers is an unavoidable part of your educational journey. It is a task that will be required from you, not just in high school, but even more in college. Therefore, learning to write well is one of the important skills that you, as a student, must develop. However, as much as writing tasks are unavoidable, so was committing errors. Because of that, I created two videos that will help you avoid the common errors in essay writing. So join me today as we learn more about this topic. Here is the first part. Let's begin with the right ways to write titles. For essay titles, capitalize the first letter of every word except for articles, prepositions, and conjunctions in the middle of the title. Here are examples. Once more to the lake. And notes of a native son. For titles of news articles and editorials, apply sentence case, which means only the first letter of the first word in the title is capitalized, not unless there are proper nouns in the title. For example, health workers of four referral hospitals first to get COVID-19 vaccine shots. Note that the coin term COVID must always be all caps, while Galvez is the name of a person. For titles of books, novels, and other academic publications within an essay or a sentence, it must follow the same format as essay titles. The only difference is the title must be italicized while the name of the author is in regular format. For example, my teacher asked me to read The Chinese Cinderella by Adeline Yen Ma for my book report. The next common error is committed when a writer is citing examples in phrase form. To maintain parallelism, always include the preposition used in the first example for every phrase that will follow. As much as possible, Limit the examples to only three items. If there's a need to add more, write them in a separate sentence. Here are examples. People tend to feel easily left out for simply not knowing some information that others knew, for not being paid attention to, and for not getting talked to at a certain time. Some parents believe that it is fine to allow their children to live on their own and to make their own decisions. Reminder, this is not applicable for examples written in nouns or pronouns. The next error is a topic that we already discussed before, the usage of past perfect tense. This specific type of verb tense requires two actions that happened in different times. Use the past perfect tense form to the first action and the simple past tense form to the second action. 
Observe the following examples. Adeline was very much alone throughout her childhood, especially after her grandmother, Nai Nai, had died. Meg wanted to find out what crime had her dad committed to disprove the claims of her bullies at the same time. Talking about verbs, the next common error committed by writers has something to do with consistency of verb tenses. Always follow the time setting of a situation in the whole or series of sentences. If the event happened in the past, then all the verbs must be in past tense. Here's an example. Beowulf went head-to-head -head with Grendel and a dragon, which he knew had brutally killed many in the past. He also knew he can defeat these monsters because he had faced and won many battles before. As much as a writer needs to be consistent in verb tenses, he or she must also observe consistency when it comes to point of view, a topic that we discussed last week. Always determine the subject, doer, or speaker in a narration and consistently use this in the whole or series of sentences. Here are examples. As believers, we know that we are not alone, for God is with us. The soldier testified that he learned the true meaning of grace when he experienced not just physical battle, but spiritual warfare too. To complete our list for this video, we must also be familiar with commonly misused or misspelled terms. Here they are. Every day and every day. Every day without a space is used as an adjective and comes before the noun it describes. While every day with space in between is used as an adverb. For example, this is my everyday routine. I go to the gym every day. Affect and effect. Affect is usually used as a verb. Effect, on the other hand, is used as a noun. For example, the little girl was greatly affected when her pet dog passed away. The effect of the dog's death to the little girl deeply concerned her parents. Assure, ensure, ensure. Assure means to tell someone that something will definitely happen or is definitely true. Ensure means to guarantee or make sure of something. Ensure means to take out an insurance policy. Here are examples. I assure you that the package will arrive in three days. These regulations ensure the employee's safety. The policy ensures your car against theft. These two Latin abbreviations are often mixed up, but EG or exempli gratia means, for example, while IE or ID EST means that is. Lay and lie. To lay means to put or to place. The past tense of lay is laid. To lie means to recline. The past tense of fly is lay, not lied, which is the past tense of fly that means not to tell the truth. Lead and lead. Lead, when it rhymes with bed, refers to a type of metal. Lead is the past tense of the verb lead, which means to guide or to be first. Loose and loose. Loose is usually an adjective, while loose is always a verb. 
The farmer discovered that the cows were loose. The farmer was careful not to lose any of the cows. It's now time for us to check how well you comprehended our lesson for today. Here is your homework number 23. Before answering pages 41 to 43 of your workbook, watch the second part of this video first. Once finished, take a picture of your work and upload it through the homework link in Schoology. It's time for reflection. So before our discussion ends, here's a verse I'd like to share with you. Ephesians 5.8 For at one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Our topic for today is about the errors that we commit when writing essays. In the same manner, as we live our daily lives, we are also prone to committing mistakes in the decisions we make. No one among us is perfect. All of us are tempted to do sinful things, but our verse for today gives us hope. It reminds us that though we are stained by our sinful nature, we can change through God's mercy, grace, and forgiveness. The Lord of Light shares His glory to us and invites us to walk according to His ways. Let us commit ourselves to Him and avoid committing errors and falling to sins. Praise be to God! That is all for today's video. Thanks for watching! For questions and clarifications, take note of them for the meantime and let's talk about them in our live class. Or you may also book a consultation schedule with me. I sincerely hope that you learned something today. See you on my next video. Stay safe and God bless!